Hello, welcome to another unboxing video from OCD Review. Today we have this brand called Blue. Um, it's a company based in Miami and they're specialized in cheap Android phones. So this one is called the Vivo 5 Mini. Well, let's face it, phones are so big these days with 5 inches and 5.5 inches. Yes, they look good, they have very nice saturated colors and whatnot, but sometimes when I'm watching that, it's just drop on my face. Sometimes I just feel like holding a smaller phone. Not only is it convenient with one hand, it also makes me feel like I'm time travel back in the days, when everything was still simple. So this one is actually a smaller phone made by Blue, and we'll see how this one performs. So I picked up mine from a local electronics store for about $65. So here's a box, not sealed. And the side, Vivo 5 Mini, and stickers and specs, um, same thing. So on the back you got a 4 inch curved glass, and a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor, all aluminum housing, 5 megapixel back shooter, expansion takes micro SD up to 64 gigabytes. 3.2 megapixel front cameras. Does have 4G. Runs on Android 6.0. Let's open the box. All right. So we have the phone wrapped in plastic. Take that out. Just set this up for a second. Um, it's got a little paperwork. Yep. Just the paper says your package contents and your IMEI stuff. A case. That's nice. All right, some silica gel. Do not eat, throw away. And a SIM card rejecting tool. This whole bag, it's just a charger with cable built in, looks like. And nothing. So it looks like this one does have a dual SIM. That's nice. And it's a Vivo 5 Mini quick start guide. All right, so let's take this out of the plastic. As you can see, the same spec flip to the back. Uh, there's a picture instructions, tells you how to do the dual SIM setup. It does have LED. Okay, wow, look at that. Didn't notice on the side of the box. Designed by Blue in Miami, assembled in China, not California. Okay, so it looks like this film does have two layers of protection on the top. So if you actually just peel the first layer you can actually leave this one on as a screen protector which is nice all right so looks like the back is actually aluminum that actually feels really good in the hand and yes the glass does look curved not so much but it's there actually I just noticed that these are actually plastic covers on top and bottom so that's not entirely out of aluminum don't know why they were trying to put the plastic cover on it. Putting the case on, I do actually have a iPhone 5 with me. Here it is, actually on the side-by-side -side look. They are pretty much identical, besides the home keys are different. Um, the bags are actually surprisingly similar. Very nice job copying the look of the iPhone. You got your speakerphone and a selfie shooter in front. Capacitive buttons. On top looks like blue keep the 3.5 millimeter jack and a micro USB charging port. On the bottom you got a single speaker grill and a microphone. Right side has a power button and the volume rockers. And the left side has a same tray and nothing else. Powering on the device for the first time. Look at that. Bolt like us. Blue. That is bold. And you know what, this phone actually boots up fairly fast. I'm actually surprised. Well, I'm gonna stick with this phone for a couple weeks and then come back with an in-depth review of the Blue Vivo 5 Mini. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.